Hello everyone, welcome. My name is MJ Pestridge. Welcome to another P3D video. Um, today I'm going to talk about Chase Plane and uh, if you have multiple sims that use Chase Plane. So for instance, I have um, FSX and I have P3D version 5. Um, and in P3D version 5, I don't use Chase Plane anymore. I use the default camera system. I, I just prefer that. But I do want to use Chase Plane in FSX. And lately I find that you know if you don't start it up in version 5 then sometimes it can start itself um, even though you sort of untick this box here to say you know don't auto launch and then you're kind of trapped and you have to use a you know chase plane well there is a way you can actually create an exclusion for any type of simulator you want um, be it FSX, P3D version 2, 3, 4, or 5. Um, basically, in a recent update, they added the ability to ignore certain simulators to prevent Chaseplane from modifying configuration files for that particular simulator. And that's basically what I didn't want, is it to change anything for P3D version 5. So all you have to do uh, is make sure Chaseplane is closed down completely and it's not running in the taskbar. Um, come to your... Uh, app data roaming uh, parallel 42 chase plane folder and head into the version number it might not be this number when you come to it but head into there and create a text document literally right click new text document that says ignore and inside you want to type uh, on just the first line which simulator you wish it to ignore so I've put in p3d version 5 p3d version 4 um, and you can put in anything you want so if you want it to ignore FSX or any p3d version I'm, I'll put the lines down below in the description box um, and just literally copy and paste that into this section save it and then when you start up your simulator say start up FSX it doesn't trigger uh, or mess with version 5 because uh, one time I was in FSX and it said we found some errors in version 5 and I was like ah oh, I don't want you playing with version 5 um, so if, if, if this you know uh, is applies to you where you have multiple simulators that can use chase plane and you don't want them to then this is basically you know how you have it now chase plane might still launch if you have that auto launch enabled but it won't connect to the simulator because of this configuration file that you've uh, put in now um, and that's basically it that is totally it you're free then to do whatever you want um, so this is just a quick flash in the pan you know uh, one and uh, thanks for watching don't forget at the end of the month um, I'm running giveaways for p3d uh for flight simulation really in general so uh, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel put a comment down in any of my p3d videos and last friday every month uh today um i choose one lucky winner from the comments section and you will win 50 euros of sim market vouchers to spend on flight simulation however you want thank you so much for watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.